I'm in Vietnam. What the heck am I doing in Vietnam? I never thought I would ever want to come here. I had no interest, but I was traveling in Asia and something told me, go see it and learn the history since your country has a history with Vietnam. Now, imagine yourself in a foreign land, away from your home and fighting a war. Now imagine your plane has been shot down and you're parachuting into this lake, nearly drowning. Then you're dragged out of the water and beaten by the city's residents, angry at the previous US attacks in the area, later to be taken as a prisoner of war. This is what happened to John McCain during the Vietnam War. This is the very spot McCain was captured. I can't help but feel chills thinking of being a prisoner of war. This show is not political, and this episode is not about the war. I'm just sharing the emotion that came over me as I walked past the lake. Welcome to Hanoi. Let's explore this mysterious land called Vietnam. Hi, Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Peterson. I love meeting new people, traveling with no plan, and my goal is to get my passport full. Come on. The first thing you notice in Hanoi is the smells. It's musky. The motorbike exhaust in the air makes it unbearable. Then you get a whiff of some exotic foods that balance it out. The stinky smell of Hanoi is something that you either love or hate. The streets are crowded and the sidewalks are small and sometimes non-existent. If you're walking, you must always be on high alert. There's a sea of reckless motorbikes everywhere in sight. You will then notice the motorbike helmets in Vietnam. They're very small and cute looking. They're super unique. They look identical to a baseball cap. Most other helmets are big enough to cover your ears, but these fit more like a baseball cap, and they even have an opening in the back for girls' ponytails. These baseball-style helmets seem to be very popular amongst the youngsters. If it's your first time in Vietnam, you might question these funny helmets. Like, is this really serious? Can this really protect me from an accident? Some people say it's just for the purpose to avoid police. Speaking of the helmets, let's talk about traffic conditions. You can really get your mind blown by the number of motorcycles in Vietnam. This is no joke. Seriously, this is no joke at all. And they love to honk their horns all the time. It must be the way that they communicate with each other. It's some kind of mystery Vietnamese motorbike language. After you spend some time on the road, you will notice that there is a rhythm to the way they use their horns. But it's noisy. It's definitely a foreign language to me. Let's hope my driver is fluent in Vietnamese horn honk dialect. Today, I'm on my way to Hanoi's Snake Village to eat some cobra snake. Feel like munching on a still beating cobra heart? Then the neighborhood of La Mat, or Snake Village as the locals call it, is the place to go. The locals have been employed as snake catchers in northern Vietnam for generations. I'm heading to the Hung Snake Restaurant, famous for its 11 course cobra meal. The host of the restaurant, Dragon, is expecting me and has told me that he will join me for my cobra feast. Mr. Dragon also let me know that he is hungry and expects me to finish all 11 courses of the cobra meal with him. They say it tastes like chicken, and if that's true, I'm up for it. Let's see how this goes. My driver takes me down a back deserted alley and we see an amazing building and arrive at the Hung Snake Restaurant in La Mat, known as Snake Village in Hanoi. The owner wastes no time pulling a cobra out for me, and this cobra was active. He was hissing and going crazy. He was ready to attack my camera. This was so scary seeing a live cobra up close and personal. Yes, we were hoping that he had anti venom on deck. It was really fun seeing this cobra hiss and move around. Oop, that's the end of the snake right there. The owner stuck his thumb right in his neck and brought the snake to his demise. Now we head upstairs to gut and skin the snake and prepare him for our 11 course meal that they're gonna make out of this guy. They make 11 different dishes using every part of the snake. We head to the kitchen and what you're going to see now is them remove the heart, still beating heart from this cobra. 
Nice surgery. Now we head to the table for whatever's coming next. A still beating Cobra Heart and a shot of vodka? Why not? Okay, so Mr. Dragon, yes. what do we have here in front of us? So on the table we have uh, three different things. First glass, first shot is a snake heart mm. with a vodka. Snake heart yes. from the Cobra in vodka. Second salt is a snake blood with vodka too. Mm. And snake blood will make me strong. Yes, yes. strong. The heart is better. So in Vietnam we say that um, if you drink snake heart, mm. cobra heart, you can you, 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 you can do five times per night. Okay. With your girlfriend or the wife. So five times per night. Yes. Strong. Last night we did Two, mm, too hot, so I am sick today. <laughs> Last night, with the sick times, five times is enough. Okay. Not more than sick times. So only five is necessary. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so you can drink now. Okay, if what you do can drink alcohol, you can drink now. What do I start? Start uh, with the, the heart? Start with the heart. heart. Yes. Okay. A little bit of bile and the blood. Just for mm. a little bit, not much. Okay. Here goes the snake heart. From a cobra. Wow, powerful, strong. Wow, much more bigger, longer. Wow. <laughs> Chewy like gum. Wow. Wow. Whole thing. Yes. Wow. Wow. A little bit bitter and sweet. Yes. And now snake blood to wash it Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, not much. Oh, oh. Small salt is, a, is <coughs> okay. It's a good for health, but not much. Ooh. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. wow. You feel stronger now? <sighs> I feel stronger. <laughs> wow. But Are it's you... very bitter, very bitter. Yes. Are you ready to go to <laughs> go to the bed? <laughs> to your uh, partner? No girlfriend? Oh. I go find for you trigger. I think triggers. I need. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Bring, bring, bring. Yes, I will call them immediately. Okay? <laughs> and you can okay. go to my room. <laughs> Mr. Dragon said he was going to bring out 11 courses of the snake. All he brought was these vegetables. And what about those three girls he said he was going to call for me? I don't know about this guy. Snake medicine. Uh, snake medicine. Yes. Mm. Wow. Wow. As Dragon gets overly excited about the food, I myself mm. am ready to dig in. Mm. What's all in the snake medicine? Wow. Like um, snake meat. We cook with uh, medicine juice. Snake meat is medicine. Some type of medicine. Yes. Mm. Very, very good for health. Please. Looks like some mushroom. So, it's snake penis. Mmm. Two snake penis. Oh, wow. Wow. You see? Wow. Two penis. It's very, very two good. Two penis one. Yes. No, three penis one. No, two. Really? Wow, very good for men. Powerful. Mmm. Mmm, you should give it. Mm. My host seems to be having a little bit of fun with me, but hey, this is what it's all about. I'm up for anything. A little snake penis only makes the night more exciting. Is that really? Yes. Really it is? Yes. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have little... to fight. Oh, that's why they call it the hung snake. Yeah, and you should <laughs> eat it now. Boom. Mm. So where do I start with this? Where do I start? Yeah, and you just it, just bite it. Just bite it. Yeah. He no bite the mouth. Oh my goodness. He doesn't know. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Like a chicken wing. <laughs> Very much like a chicken wing. Like Why are you laughing? <laughs> Because he has no water tonight. Chicken, so. he, he, has no <laughs> he has to selfie in the toilet tonight. I will send him You're some video. Yeah. yeah. 
You'll see better around. He's laughing. He's laughing because I'm a gay snake now. So. <laughs> I can't believe you ate that. <laughs> yeah, this is what he does. Yes. He brings foreigners in here and just gives them a bunch of like crazy <laughs> shit to eat. <laughs> That's good. Like Very good. Can I keep this? Yeah. Make a necklace? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Make an earring? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Saute is snake meat. Mm. Saute is snake meat. Mm. And a little hot sauce. Mm. Little chili sauce. Mm. Why not? Oh, this one's good. Lemon flavor. Mm. Mm. Snake medicine soup. Mm. 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 I can work tonight again. Like yeah. my wife. Yeah, now you're back. Now you're back. Well, where are my three girls? Are they on the way? Yes, on the way. They are coming now. <laughs> They're in their grab? They're in their grab taxi? Yes. They are here already and they are watch, watching mm -hmm. the shower now. Mm -hmm. Okay. They will wait for you later. Mmm, very good. Wow. Thank you so much, Yopi. Hey, thank you, thank you. Wow, mm -hmm. very good. So just to show, this was the guy that was hissing around at us. You can see the scales. Hey, stay away from my medicine. Yeah, now I feel like I'm ready for anything. Yeah. No girl, no girl in Hanoi is safe. <laughs> You will see it later tonight. Yes. Too short. Hmm? You are too short later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More? Yes, 10 different dishes. Huh? Wow. Uh, yeah. Snake spring roll. Is this? <laughs> is this snake skin? We're sorry. Dragon. 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 Is this snake skin? Yes. This wrapped in snake skin. Uh, no, the, the rice paper. Outside. Oh, rice paper, rice paper. I'm snake like, meat. is this the snake skin? <laughs> snake meat inside. Okay. Let's try this snake spring roll. Yes. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Crispy, crispy. Did you guys look up the um, this place on Trip TripAdvisor? No. You should look. Is it? Is it good? Mm. Um, no, the guy in our hotel told us about. What is this? Well, snake bones and meat. Mm. Mm. You know, lovely. He did write it down, but so now I'm going to get back to the Snake bones wrapped in. Yes. Wrapped in what? It's a lalot leaf. Lalot leaf. Okay. Vietnamese cooking leaf. Okay. Okay. So do we have 11 or more coming? Yeah. Two more. Two more? Really? Chicken okay. rice with snake pot and the, the porridge. Okay, let's eat some more. Come on, come on. I know you're hungry. <laughs> so tell me, this is your family restaurant? Yes. And how long you been here? Um, very long time ago, they are adopted parents. Mm. So yes, I worked with my family a long time ago. Yes, uh, we are. How long ago? How long is long time about, ago? Um, about more than ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yes, ten years ago. Mm. Okay, and why my, we did with the uh, snake many many years ago about some t some. Yeah, maybe 20 years ago or 30 years ago. And why snake? Why? Uh, because here is a snake village. Mm -hmm. Snake village. Most of people, they farm snake, they catch mm -hmm. snake, and they, they cook snake. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. So you grow up around everyone snake. Everyone in our village, they can, they knows how to catch snake. Mm -hmm. 
bamboo snake. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Look at him. Isn't he a beautiful boy? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's all right, honey. Uh, it's all right. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh. So I made it out alive after eating a cobra. I did wake up smelling pretty pungent the next morning. If you've ever smelled a reptile cage, that was the smell I was given off. Something about the snake took over my smell. But my stomach was okay, so that's pretty good. One thing I love to do when I'm in Asia is ride the motorbike taxis. There's just something about it that makes me feel alive. Even though it was raining this day, you can see I don't look too pleased to be on this bike. I'm on my way to get egg coffee, famous in Vietnam. This is coffee made of condensed milk, an egg, and coffee. It's thick, creamy, and I gotta say, it is the bomb. Highly recommend trying this out if you're ever in Vietnam, or if you go to your local Vietnamese restaurant, ask them if they can make it for you. A quiet little coffee shop in the neighborhood I was staying in. Very small. And they had teeny tiny tables and almost child sized wooden chairs in there that were very cute, but not very suitable for somebody my size. And these little cuties came over. They were interested in my camera. Hello. <laughs> and they wanted to say hi. <laughs> Very cute kids. Hanoi, Vietnam. Motorbikes everywhere, beautiful people everywhere, and it's pure chaos. Very hectic. You cannot take your eyes off the ball or someone will bump into you or a motorbike will take you out. Actually, I haven't seen anyone get hit yet, but there's a lot going on and you cannot fall asleep for a second. With that being said, beautiful city, good food, always something going on. They love to use their horns. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Friendly people everywhere. Very welcoming. A lot of energy. Not for someone who just wants to come relax. There's a lot of energy here, a lot going on, no time to sleep. You could feel that it was a war zone at one time. Vietnamese have a toughness about them. You can feel it. Very friendly, very friendly, but you can feel a certain toughness at the same time. This is the type of place, it's gonna take a couple visits to figure out everything. Can't do it, can't do it in a couple days. You gotta come here, really get the energy, get into the vibe of the people. And even then, you won't figure it out. Let's get the party started right about now. I got love, oh yeah, I got love.